Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Cat Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about some of the interesting commands in Katia. So uh, those commands you can use uh, while designing your product. So uh, let's see uh, some of the Sketchers commands in this tutorial. So let's go into the mechanical design part design. Keep the name as it is here and then uh, just move to the sketcher so that we can uh, use those commands here just click ok so here if you want to go to the settings uh, then you need to go to the tools then options here so you can see the option dialog box appears here and you can see different options available like gen general display there are different settings available based on the environments so for inf infrastructure mechanical design assembly design sketcher you can see a lot of options available here and inside those options you can see different settings available here so if you go to the mold design then you will see here the settings related to the uh, mold tooling design the structure design layout drafting so you can see different uh, settings available here so we'll see uh, the settings about the sketcher here so uh, let's discuss about the first option here that is a display so if you see this is a grid this is related to the grid and if you see in the background you can see the grid like structure so if you if you don't want it you can just toggle this off and then click ok so you can see the grid is no more appearing in the sketcher so again if you want to take it back then just again select a display you will see the grid is appearing here again so similarly again go to the options here so there is one more uh, setting that is snap to point so currently it is off so if you try to select the line here so it is not snap snapping to any any of the rectangular grid here so if you see you can you can create a rectangle anywhere right so so this feature we mostly use in AutoCAD uh, in a drawing. So if you just escape it here and again if you try to toggle this on the snap to point and then just click OK. So now whenever you try to create any line here it will always snap to the rectangular corners here. So if you let me zoom it so you can see you cannot draw a line in between those lines here. So it will directly hit to the corners of the rectangle or the square you can see. So in this way you can make use of this snap to point come option here. So again if you don't want it you can simply remove it. Just toggle this off and then you can simply create a line anywhere on this grid right so this is the second setting similarly let's move on to the third one so now if you want to do this uh, shade sketch plane so now if you see uh, the background is and then if you toggle this on and if you click this is you will see this is as a shaded so i don't know if you are seeing or not but if you try to zoom it there are smaller rectangular or uh, uh, square squares inside this grids as well so again let's go to the options here so i will we generally don't use this uh, shared uh, sketch plane option so now uh, again one more thing is uh, so whenever you create a circle so you will see the center point is created by default here you can you can see here the center point is created by default similarly if you create an eclipse you will see the center points here right so if you don't want those you can also uh, toggle those off or if you are not seeing those in your uh, katia then you can go to the options then here you will see the setting in the geometry create circle and ellipse centers so just toggle this off to try it tries out so now if i create a circle here oh sorry 
actually that is related to the yeah so uh, so let's see again so now that the setting is off so again if you if you try to create the circle here it will not show you the center here right so earlier it was created based upon the uh, this uh, uh, constraints created so again if you try to create an eclipse then again you will not see those center points so again if you if you want it or if you are not seeing this in your katia then you can simply uh, toggle this on and then you can see you can see the center points created here so generally we we use this uh, center points uh, basically so if you are not seeing this you can just uh, toggle that setting on in the options so one more option we are going to see here uh, that is the creates geometrical constraints so if you click on the smart peak sorry actually this is let me go again and then if you click on this uh, smart peak so you will see these are the geometrical constraints alignment parallelism uh, perpendicularity tangency and horizontal and vertical so if you if you are seeing this uh, on then let's try some of the constraints here so now if, if you create a circle and again if you try to create another circle let's say so you can see it is creating a tangent by default here similarly if you create a line then it will create a tangency here but if you don't see this again you can just toggle this uh, in options and here you need to check this option so if you don't see this let, let's say uh, try uh, toggling off this so now if if i try to create some of the circles it will not create a tangency here so it will show but it will not create a tangency ultimately you can move that uh, circle anywhere but this you cannot move if you if you try to move it the circle will be tangent always so this is one more setting uh, you can see here if you don't see this constraints then simply you can go to the options and then you can toggle this on creates geometrical constraints and then just save the setting now let's see uh, some more options so let me delete everything here i'll just delete this and let's try to create some so now this is the construction is on so that's why it was showing the dotted one so i will create a circle and just provide a so now you can see the color has changed to green this one is white and then one more will create here let's try to create here and then uh, provide the dimension and then i will try to provide one more di dimension here let's say i will create line first here just create the, this axis and then create one more line and then i will again try to i will just try to bridge the constraint here so now you can see this turn into pink so what what does this mean so it means if you see white this is under constraint the green is iso constraint or fully constrained so if you try to move it it, it will not move but this you can move right and then this one is over constraint means you have applied more dimensions to it so again if you go to the tools here you will see some of the visualizations for this lines here if you see color of elements just click on these colors and you will see over constraint will be pink inconsistence will be red and non change elements iso constraint element will be green so in this way you can you can also set these colors from these drop downs so let's say if you try something else 
basically we use green here let's try to select some other other colors so in this way uh, you can use this command which are very 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 uh, helpful while designing any product so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos also if you do have any queries you can just post in the comment section below we'll definitely try to resolve each and every queries thank you so much